Many migrants seeking asylum in the United States are often left behind or become lost in the desert after crossing the U.S.-Mexico border. Cronkite News reporter Delaney White talked to a man working with his friends as a search, search and rescue team to reunite families with their loved ones. Some images included in this report are graphic. The American dream is what these migrants are chasing, but it is often out of reach. Unfortunately, most of the times, you know, they end up dead, you know, in the desert. Once a migrant himself, Campos has been doing search and rescue operations for almost seven years with his friends. How you doing? Tired. When they receive calls from families in Mexico and Central America reporting someone has gone missing on the U.S. side of the border, they immediately gather all of the information that they can and set off in search of the missing migrant. Let's see that somebody get lost here where I am in California in a park. Regardless their status, police comes together, the sheriff, helicopters, everyone, that community, and they go and look for that person. Even working on the U.S. side of the border has dangers and threats of intimidation. Trying to look for this person very close to the border with Mexico, which is going to be kind of dangerous because we know the cartel is going to be looking at us. You know, we're, we're going to pretty much just a few meters away from where they're at and where we're going to start searching. I'm here in Nogales, Arizona at the border wall, where if you look all the way behind me, you can see most of it is brown, but we're actually here in this section that has been painted white. And we learned from Border Patrol that this is a high traffic area where they see a lot of crossing, which is why they painted it white to help with situational awareness. Julia Black, project coordinator for ION's Missing Migrant Project, shares that the numbers she sees are indicative of people crossing the border out of desperation, even though they may face life-threatening consequences for doing so. The number of deaths is, is proportionally high. So basically, the number of people apprehended at the border has decreased by like a third. So it's, it's very low compared to last year, but the number of deaths has only you know decreased by about Two thirds. Black hopes people will not suffer from compassion fatigue and will continue to care about these issues and the severe impact they have on human life. And as we speak right now, you know, there's people just trying to get a, a small bottle of water because they're under a bush, you know, they're dying right now. And this is not a theory, that, that is reality right now. Campos says he and his friends do as much as they can to help, but hope the government will ultimately intervene in order to save the lives of many. Delaney White, Cronkite News. Campos creates online fundraisers on popular websites such as GoFundMe in order to help pay for the operations and assist migrants in distress.